So I've been very lucky enough to get access to Hey Calendar a little bit early. Um, I believe most of the early access rollout is coming. Um, for those who don't know, Hey Calendar is an extension of Hey Email. Um, if you don't know what Hey Email is, uh, you can check out a review on Hey Email over on Toolfinder. The key objective is that it's an email app with a little bit more productivity and process weaved in. So this calendar experience, um, you might be looking at it from a perspective of I'm already a Hey user and I want to know what's coming um, and um, I'll hopefully show you my sort of early opinions um, and also you may be looking at it as a, okay, maybe I should get a Hey email and Hey calendar. So let me show you around the application first. You can see one of the most controversial elements of this is the the landscape like style. You can scrubble across um, and your timeline is more uh, sort of horizontally structured. Now, I originally was like, this is really spooky because you can start to sort of, I don't know, it's just, it's just a very unconventional way to do calendar. Uh, but once your eyes sort of like get used to it, to be honest, it's not really a dramatic change. Um, you can click in and you can create events as general events or maybe events and you can monitor your um, calendars up here. I was setting up the Google Calendar but I needed more time to do that. But essentially what you can do is bring in existing Google Calendar events, Apple Cow and Outlook I believe. Um, I will have to double check about the integrations and setup when it comes to launch but you can manage them from here, pick up um, you know, you can even share it with other Hey users as well. But the real premise is you can click in, create events, add links for meetings, uh, and make them even repeat events, and even a countdown event as well, which is quite nice. Now, the countdowns appear at the week stage, I believe, so it allows you to see uh, when that's coming up. Uh, for some people, that might be like um, holiday uh, and um I, oh, actually, I could put this a little bit far in it, further in advance if I add the event. Then um, you can see six days until holiday appears up here. So it's very sort of nice thinking around the concept. You can also do all day events. Um, you can have notes in there, which are nothing really that special. It's just a way to add a notes. And that circle event, um, I'm not actually sure what the circle event does. Let me, oh, there we go. That's what the circle event, it's almost like a highlight uh, for something like... Uh, review hey calendar and I'll press update so it's just a way for you to emphasize a particular event that you're working on or that is important the other aspect as well which I quite like is the sum time this week so say if I wanted to drag in a meeting I can add the event and that's quite nice because I can put loads of sum time this week's down here it's almost like a way for you to fill out tasks or even items that you just want to pop into your calendar now, there's another view, it's called Week View, um, and you can see that um, you almost get a traditional structure for your week. It's really weird because you get the vertical view within a week view, which is really nice. I love this view. I personally hate calendar. I'm such a contrarian. I hate calendars to have a month view, but this is really nice having a week view because you can see what week you're on, scrubble ahead without having the intensity uh, of sort of seeing every single day in a way. It's sort of like a month and a week view combined, but this is perfect. Um, you can click and create events for the day, uh, and you can click all day as well. Um, I just noticed as well you can change the time zone there, which is a neat little feature. Now, you're probably wondering, what does this little thing do? Well, this is a habit tracker, and I didn't expect them to do this. You can use shortcuts to access this, but basically, there's a habit tracker built in. So I set up one called Cardio. And if I go into settings, you can set it up for what days you want it to appear on and then just basically set it up. So for example, you can pause it there. But hypothetically, if I were like on a Tuesday, if I was on a Tuesday, so let me go back to day view. If I was on a Tuesday, I think I set it up for Tuesday. Maybe I've, ah, oh, there, I've, I've done it on a Wednesday, sorry. You can see the little heart that comes up here. If I tick that, that means I've done it. Um, I've got my little streaks going and I can see a two-day streak is started. So that's a really nice addition because that's like a habit tracker that is very subtly included in the calendar but not very intense either. 
very nice feature. The other function is time tracking. You can start a, a, a manual one or you can start a recording or even export it. Maybe you want to have a timesheet, but this is the way you do it. So if I wanted to start a recording here, I could stop it and I could say, I could file it under reviews. Um, and press save. Now if I go to the time tracking area, I can see that I started that for a very short period of time, but you can modify it as well. Uh, I could say I did it for that long. But it's a great way to just be able to track time, and especially if you wanna keep that focus going, you can see here that that's the edited and tracked time. Um, not sure you can move it about, but that's, to be honest, not a massive sort of feature. Other elements of this is I really like this nighttime view. You can click into it and you can get the actual nighttime view if you have uh, maybe shift patterns or something like that, that that requires you to add them. Up here, you can add an event really easily. Um, and I did see something that somebody did in the week view. Um, maybe, oh yeah, circle events do appear here and you can see some track time here but I was actually saw somebody add a image and I didn't know how they did it. Maybe it's an all day event. Um, let's see if I managed to do it. Um, okay, no, it doesn't seem to work, but I saw somebody have a full image here. I don't know how they've done that, but anyway, a very interesting uh, setup here. Now, other things that you might need to know, here's the calendar thing I set up. You can set it to auto refresh and change the items uh, color. Uh, up here you can get to see your calendar and up here you can move across to your email as well. But largely, this application is really, really nice in terms of its setup. Um, it's just got the regular Hey settings here and you'll be able to get access to it from here to scrubble in between. But to be honest, if you want my early take on Hey Calendar, I'm very impressed with it. I actually think um, the application is, is really well nice. They've shipped a very good version of it. It's from very reliable from when I'm using it. It's very contrarian in terms of its approach. It's not as detailed as say, hey, email is, but it is a, a very opinionated experience in terms of how you compare it to traditional calendar apps. Um, the other thing that um, David said on Twitter was um, I asked about the pricing and they're going to include it for free as part of Hey uh, customers, uh, existing customers, um, and any customer that has Hey. Obviously that is subject to change, but that's very kind of them and very good to have as a $99 package with Hey email. So, um, interesting, I really like it. I'm even more excited for them to make Hey notes now. <laughs> Um, but I hope you enjoyed this overview of it. Let me know what your thoughts are or whether this looks just too mental for you um, and whether you um, maybe don't fancy it. Anyway, folks, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe to Keep Productive. Check out Toolfinder and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.